Dun, 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 dun. All right, so let me uh, let me kick off with a little intro. Little uh, on today, rambling on a bike. An exciting good morning. Hey. Okay, so I've uh, I use my blog sometime to post about uh, one of my favorite companies, Tesla Motors. And I have a blog post I'll share with you down below. But after listening to the shareholder meeting, I've had some new ideas. Hi. That guy never says hi. He always has the baby carrier. He was on the old seg. Anyways, I've had some ideas about Tesla and, you know, they're always saying they're trying to support uh, the transition to sustainable transport. And they don't care if other car companies try to compete with them. Of course, they operate up here. Other car companies are down here with like a nine kilowatt hour battery. They got like 70 and 90. So they're on a totally different playing field there. And I've, it struck me that, you know, the CEO, Mr. Musk has talked about uh, using the Gigafactory is a really a product. Good morning. And if you think of a product, that means they're putting a lot of intellectual property, they're putting a lot of uh, design and thought into everything in the factory. And then in the shareholder meeting, he's talking about the machines that build the machines, and uh, they're really looking at the efficiency of the factory. And then now it looks like they're gonna make the, fa the new me factory, their Tesla factory in Fremont, as a product itself. So essentially these products, now it doesn't look like those products are for individual consumers. They're either products for them, for them to just transplant across the globe and start producing cars in Europe with their product factories that they just stamp down and they can do it quickly. And they can, they have the efficiencies all ready to go in their product. But then I was thinking, well, what if the product is used by other companies so that other companies could essentially buy a Tesla factory to produce the batteries or the car that they design that they want? So essentially, it's allowing Tesla to become the real back-end supplier and creator of like all electric vehicles if the other car companies can't figure it out themselves. Good morning. You're on YouTube. So that's kind of interesting to think about and it looks like they're going that way so we'll see what happens.